Hey everyone, welcome back to another Blood Strike tips and tricks video. Now, since Blood Strike hasn't launched globally yet, I understand it might be a bit confusing for some of you on how the game works. Today, we are diving into one of the most crucial aspects of Blood Strike upgrading your weapons for that extra power and efficiency. In this video, I've got some simple tips and tricks to help you upgrade your guns quickly and easily. Why upgrade? Well, it's the key to unlocking various attachments for your weapons. Think scopes, grips, magazines, and more and trust me these attachments can seriously level up your gun's performance affecting aspects like aiming recoil ammo capacity and more upgrading weapons in blood strike is a bit different compared to other games unlike some games with upgrade experience cards for instant gun leveling blood strike doesn't have that feature at least for now to upgrade your weapon you have got to use it frequently now whether it's good or bad is up for a debate personally i think it's a good thing blood strike doesn't have a massive array of weapons as of now so using a a specific weapon more often helps you become familiar with it. This way you can figure out which attachments work best for that particular gun. Not all weapons behave the same way and I haven't came across any two weapons that are very similar. This uniqueness might be because the game hasn't been released globally yet. Perhaps in the future we might see more similar weapons but as of now each one has its distinct characteristics. Some guns are easier to control in terms of recoil while others may require more effort. Starting with a weapon from level 1 allows you to understand the characteristics better as you progress to a higher level. This way you can figure out the attachments needed, whether it's for a better recoil control or increase of the weapon's range. In essence, getting to know your weapon early can pay off when it comes to optimizing its performance later. But wait, there's more to upgrading your guns in Blood Strike. Beyond just enhancing the performance, upgrading your weapon unlocks a special missions tied to your weapon level. These missions offer a fantastic bonus, stunning gun camos that transform the look of your weapons. Picture this, one of the most sought after camos, the gold camo, giving your gun a shiny and luxurious appearance. You can snipe the gold camo when your gun reaches level 70, the maximum level for every weapon in the game. But in addition, you will have to do a mission, we'll talk about that later. Just think about how awesome your gun will look with that gold golden touch, leaving your enemies in AO when they catch a glimpse of it. Now that we understand perks of upgrading weapons, let's dive into the fastest way to level up your guns. To kickstart your gun upgrade journey, you will need weapon bonus XP cards. These special items work as power-ups, turbocharging the upgrade process for your weapons. Luckily, you can acquire these bonus EXP cards or experience cards from various sources like events or missions, setting you on the express route to upgrade your weapon. Now that you have got those weapon XP bonus cards, it's time to put them into good use before diving into the match. Click on the drop icon near the play button and there you will find an option to use the weapon bonus XP cards. Remember, you can only use one card per match, so make that choice wisely. Once you have activated the weapon upgrade card, you are all set to enter the match. Also make sure you tick on the auto use, then you don't have to do it for every single match because the cards will be used automatically. For the ultimate gun upgrade grind, hot zone mod is your go to play. While this mod is available on different maps, the logistics center map is the best when it comes to upgrading your guns efficiently. Here's the strategy. Be aggressive and go after as many as enemies as possible. The more kills you rack up, the more points you earn and easier for your weapon to go to a higher level in record time. This method not only allows you to level up your current weapon but also gives you the chance to switch between different weapons and upgrade them. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable some attachments as well as how to unlock camos. First, I will show you how to unlock unlock the remaining camos for my scar. As you can see, there are three camos that are left to unlock. Although my gun is at level 70, the maximum level a gun can reach in Blood Strike, still these camos are locked for me. That's because I have to do specific missions to unlock each of these camos. To enable the gold camo mission, I also have to unlock all the other camos. So I will first focus the two camos outside of the gold camo. Okay, now moving on to the first game, what I have to get is headshot kills and double kills. And hopefully I will be able to complete both of these in just one match and all the time I will focus on getting headshot kills that way I can kill them faster as well as get some double kills so hopefully it is not going to be a problem for me okay moving on to the match results you can see that I have completed both the missions successfully when I have completed the two missions and I have unlocked the two camos now you can see that only gold camo is left to unlock now it says six out of six complete all scar basic camo quest I have done it now I have to perform three kills without dying ten times with the scar now to do that I'm also 
also going for a hot zone match because that would be easier and i can also die multiple times and do it again and again and this way it will be easier for me let's see what happens the match was pretty good but it was not as satisfying yes as i thought it seems like i could only get four three kills without dying this also proves that you don't have to do this inside of just one match what you should do is get three kills without dying now let's go to another match and see if we can make a difference okay the match went pretty good and guess what the result is, is still the same i have to get three more three kills without dying so this time for a change i will use the other map in the hot zone this is a great chance to familiarize with the maps if you haven't played blood strike yet okay at the end of the match i can see that my camo quest is complete now i have unlocked the gold glitter camo let's go and equip this camo and this is how the camo looks now another specialty when it comes to blood strike is you can equip any camo with any skin it doesn't need to be a gold or a diamond or a completionist camo no 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 you don't have to do that you can equip any camo even camos that you get from crates with even skins with better rarities like ultra skins and they still work that's one of the coolest things in blood strike now i have shown you how to unlock camos let me show you how you can unlock the attachments now for this i will choose the p90 because the p90 is still in level 45 i'll show you how you can unlock these attachments the p90 is a great gun honestly it is the second best gun in my opinion in the game right now especially when it comes to close range and mid range it's a beast and at the end of the match you can see that my gun leveled up two levels from level 45 to 47 and i just unlocked two more attachments let's see if these attachments are better attachments than what we have already equipped when it comes to muscle you can clearly see the attachment that i already have just increases the range and recoil control and it's going to hurt the ads speed but what i have unlocked right now not only increases range and recoil control but also reduces the sound alert range this is going to help me stay sneak in the match therefore i'm going to keep this suppressor moving on to the under barrel you can see that the granulated grip is what i have equipped what i have unlocked is this triple grip tape but i prefer to have a better recoil control more than ads speed because i think the ads speed is quite good so i'm not going to kill it's not always going to give you the better attachments when you upgrade the weapon but to get the total freedom of using any attachments you have to max the weapon also note that when you reach level 50 you will unlock all the attachments but to unlock more camos you will need to reach level 60 then level 70 respectively now there's another thing i need to address upgrading your gun in blood strike not only enhances the performance but also opens up the world of customization through various attachments you can create up to 10 loadouts allowing you to switch between them based on your personalized weapon getting a significant advantage by following these tips and tricks you can swiftly upgrade your guns in blood strike and at the same time you can dominate in the battlefield because you have a better weapon to fight with anyways i hope you guys find this video helpful if you did and if you picked up some important useful insights don't forget to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys with more blood strike content thank you so much for watching